Hey guys, what's up? From Singapore, Cosmo, uh, Cosmo Designs. Okay, so yeah. So basically, what we do is um, well, fiddles. We do um, develop uh, scooters, fiddles as well, modifications. And uh, Jay over here, it's uh, our selected um, this crew to actually come aboard, get us in together, right? Yes. Working on this together, and uh, to promote our new products as well. So uh, I'm pretty excited to be here with you guys. Yeah. Mm. So I think uh, we'll be start que making questions, starting questions. Some questions would be nice. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, what kind of questions? I mean, um, so, if you guys have any questions, you can just... So, yeah. so most of the questions that I get uh -huh. um, when people call in about the Cosmod, they ask me, what's the distance on one of the torpedoes? Mm -hmm. How far can it travel? Mm -hmm. Well, um, how far can a fetal travel? I mean, it depends on what kind of battery uh, ampere that you are you're having. Say, for example, you're running on a 72 volts battery, but you're running on only 10 AH or 15 AH, then it all depends on AH itself. Say, for example, they're running what usually, what is their battery specs like? 25, 26? So, there are Mali cells uh -huh. at 33 amp hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, for example, it all depends on the rider's weight. A, a lot of uh, a lot of factors in. We we can't have a you know a direct answer to that because you and I we are all different weight and uh, a heavier rider, will of course, consume more battery as well. Okay, then a lighter rider like Jay, you'll probably reach further and faster as well. So scooter speed it will varies around, distance it will vary as well based on the rider's weight, tire pressure, and what kind of terrain. You know, and uh, what kind of conditions that you guys are running? But if I want to average it out, I would say you know, if we have to take an example, for example, seventy-two volts, twenty-four age, or what age that you guys play with? So most of the fetals that uh -huh. has been shipped out from Custom EV mm -hmm. comes with thirty-three amp hour mm -hmm. battery. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, thirty-three amp hours, right? Basically, you can do good distance, very good distance. I would say you can cover more like. What is it in miles? Like in kilometers, we'll say about a good 60-ish, 70-ish kilometers. What is that in miles? Uh, miles per hour conversion. Um, <laughs> 40, 40 miles, 45 miles? If it's 60, 60 uh, kilometers, it's, let's around, 60, it's, yeah. it's, it's around 40, 45 miles, 40, yeah. around there. 40, 45 miles, yes. If I'm not mistaken. And of course, if you know how to do it well, like um, the throttle, Okay, you know how to adjust it, you know, as in you know how to cruise, there's, there's a longer down slopes, up slopes, right? So all this plays a part, the distance as well, but I would say a good uh, 40 miles, no issue. Yeah. Speed-wise, if there's concern about speed, again, it depends on... Uh, uh, raw Power asked a question, uh, uh, how fast does, do they go? How fast do they go? Well, I think uh, we get the questions a lot. <laughs> yourself myself we get the questions a lot so like I mentioned earlier on okay it's all boils down to the rider's weight the condition of the road the condition of the tires and the wind as well if you are going head on with the wind there's a head wind so you, you won't be achieving that kind of speed if you ask me we have uh, achieved 120 130 miles back in back in where I am where I'm from so uh, we have haven't tried out the uh, condition here. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna try it out. So um, do follow you know this channel because um, we'll be here for a while and uh, we're gonna test out the product that we have, the scooters, and and, and uh, you know how it performs as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many amperes are they pushing? Um. Currently the. Um, basic models the basic models that we have they are all running on uh, 50 amps setups uh, so dual models is we're running at 100 amps yep so we'll be pushing more uh, currently we are only developing the standard basic version the phase one okay so this is just a teaser you know for you guys that you know because we can't straight away jump you to a super bike and then uh, you know accidents happen right so, that's correct yeah you gotta start off with the basics first you know learn how to 
really no. graduate from the yeah. level one. So, so are you still okay with this thing? Yeah, we. I think we are all yeah. okay, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, you've probably seen him running around a couple of times. Yes. Yeah, yeah probably making videos and all this. So, um, phase one is basically some introductions of what we can do, all right, and what we can even improve further on from there. You know, we get feedbacks from people coming on and tell us that, oh, you know, it's too low or suspension is too hard, too soft, you know, too stiff. So all these are feedbacks for the phase two, all right? So for the models that we're using, okay, it's a high-speed model, okay, it's all custom-built, okay, hand-built, I would say, all hand-built. And uh, specs-wise, of course, I can't, <laughs> I can't review much, okay? But um, dual-phase, all right, they are coming, the, 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 the dual-phase, of course. Phase 3 is in preparation, okay, so maybe you guys can uh, keep a look out um, in, in this channel. What is it called, Jimmy? J, J Crypto Basquiz. Yes, yeah, so that's the YouTube channel. Yeah, so yeah, from there we can uh, have more updates on uh, how is it like. You know, probably Jay will post more about our product as well. We have um, another question. Oh. Um, can I run it full speed for a long time or does it have to be a short period of time? Well, it depends on uh, how much guts you have, right? I mean, you, you, <laughs> by all means, okay, if, as long as the road is there, we've tested it on airstrips and stuff. Uh, we probably have videos as well, maybe. Uh, yeah, we, there is a few. Yeah, so speed-wise, it depends on, uh, you could be staying at top speed, right? You know, but it just depends on how long uh, you can push it. Of course, it depends on your battery cells. This, okay, it depends on your battery cells, how good you, 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 how good you take care of it. Okay, a lot of people just plug it in, charge it overnight, and then the next day they repeat the same old thing again. All right, uh, a lot of things to look after. For a very fast scooter, a lot of things you need to consider, uh, which is the uh, tire condition, the battery's condition, and the controller's condition as well. A lot of things plays a part, you know? So to answer your question, uh, raw power, is that yes, you can, but it solely goes down to you know how daring you are of course then then uh sky is the limit right <laughs> so yeah i would answer your questions a full throttle or no throttle what do you mean full throttle no throttle uh, is it full it? throttle or no throttle oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah so yeah justin um yes yes uh i think oh is this the justin yeah justin right 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 i heard so, a lot about you <laughs> Justin. Shout out to Justin. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And uh, of course, <clears throat> Fidos is just one of the projects that uh, we do. We do have a Duotron as well. More projects coming up and uh, you're going to experience more okay, from um, this Ultra that we have. Okay, a lot of things are going underway for Mini Models products. So currently, you know, we are still in progress. You know, but more items gonna come out. Like I say, all this are just phase one. Okay, it's just phase one. So we're gonna move into phase two pretty soon. But of course, in order to move into phase two, you need to obtain the machine first, which is in the phase one stage. Yeah. Yeah. Second mm -hmm. question. The uh, another sample. <coughs> would it, would it be able to upgrade the controller as we use it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Of course. Um, everything is. Uh, interchangeable. There's no such thing as uh, one model fits it all. Okay, you can always choose to upgrade it, but my recommendation is this thing can take up to 96 volts and uh, it's power up for 96 volts. It's ready for 96 volts. So um, try the 96 volt first. My, my, my personal opinion is try the 96 volt first, then you decide where you want to go from there. You see? So only then you decide you want to go AEA, you want to go 100A, you know, by all means, you, you can just push it. Mm. Okay. Correct, correct, <coughs> yes, you can build it from phase one. <coughs> yes, yes, so it's like a, so the concept is pretty simple here. We want people to, we want people to actually enjoy the process and not buy it off the shelf. You see, buying off the shelf is um, something that we, we don't really enjoy, you see. It's good to always buy from the phase one, and then from there on, you slowly upgrade, you see. Um, it will be much easier from there. You guys will understand 
what kind of um, what kind of engineering skills that we put in from there so <clears throat> to actually make this scooter run even better uh, I would say a lot of people actually in from where I come from a lot of people are facing heat issues overheat controllers overheat models and then uh, yeah the battery is overheating and it actually uh, kills the power as well so from there we upgrade even the face cables all um, oh you can't tell that's all still up. So the face cable that we're using is actually full copper. Uh, it's, it's not uh, silver. Uh, it's, you can see this one over here. Uh, yes. Yeah, so all these are Teflon cables. All right. They are, can, can we tell from there? Yeah. Teflon cables, basically, they are almost 80% more efficient in terms of cooling and delivery of the power. I believe uh, copper is the, is the uh, main component that is making all, you see. So, it can be 10 gauge, it can be 8 gauge, doesn't matter. But if your 8 gauge cable has only so much copper compound, then again, it's not efficient. You can have really thick cables, doesn't matter. You see, the thing is that the one that is transferring the power, all the amps, all right, because um, all the amps are the one that, they, that creates all the heat. Correct. You see, so if we can have the fastest way to cool down the heat, basically we can have uh, longer lasting scooters meaning you can maintain the speed even longer. Yeah. Let me add to that. Yep. Creating heat, mm -hmm. that's an amp loss. So you lose amperage, it's like a waste of uh, power. Um, a lot of people don't understand that. When even your motors <coughs> get hot, mm -hmm. you're literally just wasting energy. Totally agree, yes. So Jay has a point there. So take for example, okay, uh, you're running at, under a hot sun. You wouldn't perform as good as you running in the evening time. You know, when it's cooling, you know, you, you get to perform even better. So daytime on, or evening time, this scooter will perform the same as day or night time. You know, there's, there's no day, no night because um, the cooling is there. You know, you don't have to add in additional stuff. You don't have to add in uh, additional cooling fan. I believe you heard of it. <coughs> fans or holes in your motor. <laughs> yeah. Don't, I've seen people cutting um, fins on the side. You know, to let the cold air go in, but then... Um, That's a you, weak point. Yes, yes, exactly. So, when you run through a puddle of water or when it's raining, you know, this thing will go in and Not start just shocking stuff. Uh, you can actually crack the, the, the cover lids. So, more holes you drill in it, it makes it a weak point just for that cover. So, your axle eventually come right out. Right, right. So... What we have? Let's start at 72 volts. Uh, will we be able Any Instagram messages, questions or anything? Or Facebook? I do have a question here on Instagram. Uh -huh. It's from the Last Mile Store. And they oh, okay. are asking, what controller is in the Cosmods YYK? Is it a dual controller? Come again, the question? The last one? Is it a dual controller? No, they're, they're, they're single individual controllers. Yeah. It's two, it's two individual controller powering the um, two models individually itself. So to make sure that it's optimized, you know, on both setups. But of course, I'm uh, just using one throttle, yeah, to, to, to maximize the performance and stuff. Yeah. So again, like I mentioned, um, all these are just the initial phase of uh, what we are producing. Okay. And uh, from there, words are going out, you know, we, we actually building more um, sort of like uh, a quality scooters you know slowly the upgrades slowly the upgrades I believe uh, more and more people will start to see things going around yes the, another question most people ask uh -huh. what's the difference between riding with uh, fat tires than riding with uh, bicycle tires <laughs> oh you mean the slim ones just say that <clears throat> well I would say the thick ones, uh, they are good in terms of handling. Okay, handling is important. And, uh, but of course you sacrifice the speed. You can't have the best of both worlds. You know, you can't have speed and handling at the same time. I would say whatever that we, we you know, there's a lot of brands around, tire brands around for, for this uh, 10 inch model. But uh, we choose Continental because um, they are kind of like more efficient on the speed, high speed running. And I believe Conti tires, Continental tires, they are quite renowned for their quality, you know, not like some um, other other brands, uh, I would have mentioned the uh, China brands, uh, um, yeah.
you know, your life kind of depends on it, right? So you can have, you can be all geared up, you know, helmets. You guys wear full suits, right? <laughs> now all of us, a lot of people don't wear even helmets. Uh huh. Well, helmet always safety first, right? <laughs> safety first. <laughs> helmets all the time. Yeah. So no point riding fast, but you know, you end up in the hospital. So yeah, like I was saying, the the tires that we choose, okay, for this setup, it's gonna optimize the speed and the handling as well. And uh, like I mentioned, Continental tires they are quite renowned for their quality. So then we are not gonna use. Uh, you know, some third party brands or something that, that will risk your life. You know, so we're gonna spend a bit more to actually give you guys the quality stuff. You know, don't feel bouncy and stuff. Correct. Yeah. So it doesn't it doesn't seize up. You know, some China tires after a while, you know, rubbers they seize up. So um, you wouldn't experience that as well. I believe burnout is uh, something that you guys do a lot over here. We do do burnouts. <laughs> Continentals do do the best burnouts. Yes. <laughs> burnout as well, you know, uh, it smells good, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I think puncture is another issue. A lot of people actually face puncturing issues. Thicker tires, they will tend to rub, you know, because under high speed, thicker tires are able to hold more PSI. Correct. But, you know, when you're doing high speed runs, it hits up. And that's where things happen. You know, the side wall is gonna inflate until the rims can't hold. That's where things happen. It's either the rims bend or the tires lining will give way. That's where the tire starts to burst and the tire fail. So Continent tires they are um, more or less uh, major productions, they're major companies. So they wouldn't let this happen and uh, risk their name on the line. Yeah, that explains why we choose uh, Continental tires over uh, some other brands. What's yeah. the weight difference between both tires? Weight difference between both tires? I think not really significant. I'll say the rolling speed makes a big difference. Yeah, the rolling itself basically I would say ten percent better if you if you choose the um, the normal tires over fat tires. Yeah, but of course. Uh, Fat tires has its own fair shares of uh, advantage as well. Like uh, I believe uh, the, the the road condition here in San Diego, you know the bumpies and stuff. Uh, uh, yes, yes, pothole and stuff. So if you're wider, you're actually safer as well. You know, so yeah, it's a good thing. It has more traction basically, so it'll get you off the line sooner. You you won't you won't do so much of a burnout. I mean, it's a bit difficult for you to control with this kind of power without spinning the tires. But uh, yeah, Jay, you're doing pretty well with the with the start off. Uh, it, it requires skills. It's not just gunning on the throttle. You know, you need to play around with it. You need to toggle the throttle a bit. You know, you need to tease it a bit. You know, to, to let it really move off the line smoothly. Yeah. So, do you guys do drag races? <laughs> there is drag races, yeah. um, but not as often. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, if you do drag your your there's a drag race your scooters right. So off the line, it's pretty important. You can have a very powerful scooters, you can have 120 volts, but if you don't know how to move off the line, you're gonna keep, keep spinning off the line. You know, so yeah, that I don't think is a good thing. Yeah, we we, we even thought of uh, having a traction control, but uh, again, that is still uh, the the plan for the future. You know, we're still working on it. There will be a device, a sensor, you know, to detect loss of traction and it will come back come back either so it's more like a traction control the cars that you have you know traction controls on a car so you'll make moving off the line much safer as well and uh, it while well, we're looking at ABS as well for you know what raining days you know so your tires will get locked up you know, it's quite 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 dangerous if you lock it up yeah so all these uh, safety features we're trying to move towards a more safety uh, spot Scooters rather than just Does it have fast. regen? Come again? Does it have regen? Does, does it have a regen? Uh, no, but uh, I don't think you will need that. As well. I don't think you will need that feature as well because then it will make the braking even harder. You know, it gives you more uh, resistance while you do braking, and then that's actually quite dangerous because all you need to do is to slow down for something, but the regen kicks in, and then that's where the whole thing will like. You know, it's like an engine brake, you know, it'll cut you off guard. So, it just imagine you're riding and then you're on the phone or you're something or you're waving at someone, 
tap the brakes and then the regen kicks in and it's gonna fly forward. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yes. so, so it's not really a good thing, we'll usually take it off, you know, but um, yeah, if, if you want it, then yes, you know, you can still have it, but that, that, if you're thinking about recharging the battery with the regen, then I'll say, you know what, don't bother. You, know, you can break a hundred times, you can re regen a hundred times, it will not charge a single volt. You know, it's just maybe good enough to power your lights and stuff. Yeah, it's never it's never good enough to charge charge up the um, the battery cell because it's a molly cell. It's it's huge. It's huge. The molly cells are huge. Yeah, yeah. it's not those China cells whereby you know you use it on uh, any other advances. Yeah, so yeah, all good. You question about um, how many colors have you got for the cosmos? No. Oh. Oh, yes. Um, so, what you're looking at right now is um, the Nova, okay? It's basically a chameleon color. It has a mixture of, I can't tell, green, purplish. Purplish. It's, yeah. It's, it's kind of a unique color. So, um, do, we, do, we have, do we have one that we can showcase it? No? What, the frame? Uh-huh. Uh, sure. Well, I'm not sure whether you can see it here, but... It's, it's greenish, it's, it's green from uh, what we're looking at, but there's an accent of purple as well. So yes. it changed differently if you're under different lighting. So right it's now, color shifting. Yes, yes, color shifting, you call it. It's chameleon, color shifting. You know, it's a, it's a unique color that we put in. You know, more unique colors will come. Uh, this is just one of it, you know. So it's, it's quite limited. It's quite limited as well. Of course, uh, we do have other stealth colors like the uh, matte black okay and uh, the gum metal yes this is the gum metal this is uh, actually quite limited in certain region because uh, say for example in Thailand this is a limited color this is a limited color so they don't sell they do have other colors like red white all these are the primary colors all these unique colors they are special yeah, but I'm not sure whether it's special <laughs> because um, we we only there is all these special colors came before this, so we came up with this chameleon uh, nova color. We name it. Uh, it's it's actually gonna be a limited edition color, so it's only coming up for this 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 period of time. Then you'll be gone. You'll be gone. So you wouldn't have that phase two onwards. They will have other colors. You know, we may or may not have this color. Uh, available because uh, they, 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 they can they can be quite expensive you know to make them another question uh, from Pirubin Chandra Mohan they ask if uh, he asked if you have you just sell any upgraded shaft motors upgraded shaft models um, what does he or she means like thicker, thicker shaft longer shaft um, I don't know but to I'm not sure whether I'm answering your questions, but uh, I'll try my best to go as close as possible. Upgraded shaft. If you're talking about having thicker wires, all right. Uh, like I mentioned earlier before, having thicker wires doesn't mean it's better. Okay, it's all about the contents inside the cables. All right. If you can have a lot of other components, other materials but you have only 5 to 10% of copper, then you can have 5 gauge, 6 gauge or 4 gauge, it doesn't matter. Okay, a 10 gauge full copper, it still works better than a three, uh, 4 gauge or a 6 gauge, for example. You see, yeah. it's all about efficiency, it's not about the size. You see, something small, like what we have here, is good enough to take on a lot of other, others, uh, you know, heat issues and stuff. Yeah, so, um, I'm not sure whether am I answering that questions, but if it's about thickness of the, the face cables, then yes, okay, uh, we are coming up with something to actually make it high speed, to make a better high speed models, but again, these are all uh, a future plan for cost mods, and uh, you're going to be seeing it pretty soon. You know, only at uh, this custom EVs. Okay, you, uh, you could ask uh, whether the feeder motor comes with a AWG wire. <laughs> well, um, I have to bring you guys back to uh, my theory of gauges 
you know, yes, you guys understand uh, cables, they go by the units of gauge, okay, but it's the contents inside, okay, that, that is um, most important. You can have the thickest wire, trust me, you can have the thickest wire, but if the compound inside, okay, don't have much copper involved, then honestly, it's not going to work because then the heat is going to trap. The, the, the current is not going to go as smooth as a full copper. Uh, I'm not sure whether you guys are familiar with how the batteries build. Okay, they are using copper rods. You know, copper rods. So why don't they use any other materials? Why they use copper rods? Because it's the best uh, element to transfer electricity. So the same works with the cables, the face cables. All right, you need to have um, the most. Um, do, do, do we have one to show them? Really? Do, do, oh, we yeah, we got. We do that. Okay. Yeah. Give me one. So to further explain how 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 this thing is, okay, what we are using now. Thanks, me. So what we are using, all right, is um. Let me let me get this thing off. Um. Can we can we get a cutter? Do we? We, so it's the Facebook. Okay. 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 So if you can see, okay. Uh, um, do you want to bring it to the, to the camera there? Yeah, it's okay. I think it's good now. Yeah, can, can, can you show it now? Jay, Jay is going to show it to you. No, no, I don't have to bring it. So, so these are the things that we talk about. You see, it's full copper. I'm not sure whether you can see it. All right, there's no other substance involved. It's just full copper. All right, this is sufficient enough, okay, to push all the heat away, all right, to, to whatever specs that you guys are looking for. But of course, any bigger specs or any higher specs, right? Okay, you guys will have to change. That's why we have a dual phase cable involved for you. Okay, these are all for phase two preparation. All right, guys. So thank you. Yeah. So what we have? Does it have any more questions? Okay. <laughs> yeah, guys. So um, for those who join in, all right, who just join in, okay. Uh, I'm Jonas, okay, and uh, I'm from Cosmots, okay, and uh, I'm here with Jay, okay, to answer your questions if you have any concerns. Well, it doesn't need to be anything regarding the Fidos or the Duotrons, it can be anything regarding to um, scooter related, you know, don't ask me am I single, don't ask me am I married, uh, yeah. so, so all this, um, um, scooter scenes, right? I can see it's actually growing a lot in yeah, LA, so it's, it's California, in New, over the you know, years. Yeah, in New York, all these are, are growing a lot. So I can I can see, you know, you it's, it's, it's actually growing pretty much. It's yeah. grown. It's just it's the beginning of the phases. I see, right? So you know, before this thing goes out of control, I would say get yourself in control first of the scooters because when the scenes gets bigger. You know, more and more people are gonna go around asking big questions like, does this thing work? Does that thing work? You know, so you don't have a proper knowledge of how electricity is being transferred. That is the basics. If you don't have it, none of this makes sense. None of this will make sense because a layman will always say that, oh, the bigger the better. You know that, but that's not the that's not that's that's not how it works. Uh, you know, with the um, whatever scooters that we built, okay? We actually started back in 2013 with a Speedway, a Speedway 2, I remember. My first scooter was a Speedway 2. A single mm. model, yeah, a single model Speedway 2. Uh, it was a 48 volt. Slow, really slow, yes. like <laughs> um, 20 miles per hour slow. That's the, that's the top speed. That's the top speed. So, but then we were enjoying, you know, because we, we didn't know that we will come to this stage today. You know, it was only after uh, a scooter called Mbot. Do you guys have Mbots here? I haven't heard. Yeah. So Mbot is 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 a first eleven inch 
uh, scooter, it's a single model one, that has 48 volts. 48 volts, but it can travel up to 35 miles per hour. So yeah, back then it was the fastest scooter and everyone wants to get their hands on it. It's also the first scooter that has a tubeless um, design, like uh, what the Dotron is having right now. So the first tubeless scooter. And uh, not long after, I got my second scooter, which is a Speedway 3, it's 52 volts. But then I got a little um, greedy. I swap it with the Duotron controllers, and those were 52 volts. 52 volts, but then um, my specs of the battery is still 48 volts, right? Correct. So the thing is, it doesn't match. I have a 52 volt controller, and I have a battery that can only push out about 20 amps of power, but my controllers require 30 amps of power. So you see the difference? So what happened is um, after a few days of uh, scooting around, the, I, blew up, I, I blew up the battery because um, it just cannot supply enough amps for the controllers. So the controllers keep drawing a lot of power from the battery and it just dies off. And uh, I didn't know what, what, what to do back then, right? So it's just to just purchase another battery from the, 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 the Duotron. And uh, yeah, they, put, they work pretty well. I can do about, say, 35, 36 miles back then. Yeah, then Duotron came along and the whole world just changed. The first dual model uh, e-scooters, you know, to, 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 to really take the market. And uh, that's where things got crazy. Things got crazy. People start doing 40 miles, 50 miles, you know, upgrades, upgrades, controllers, upgrades battery upgrades, you know, and, and a lot. Hydraulic starts to come in, hydraulic brakes starts to come in because the speed was too fast. Yeah, and, and things just just go wild from there. And there we are, six years, seven years down the road, we obtain all the knowledge, all the skills from there, all the lessons learned. That's why we're here, come up with this Nova to actually put our effort into it and, and to tell you that this is what we learned over the years. And this is what we are giving it to people like you guys to actually experience what we have learned, you know, and, and, and to, to actually embrace the power. <laughs> embrace the power. Yes, <laughs> embrace the power, you know. Build the power. Yes, yes, of course. It's, it's, it's fun, it's fun. Because we don't want something that is too scary, too fast, too scary, too much talk. And you no know, question. Mm -hmm. you, you, can't, you can't meddle around with it, you know, then, then no point. Instead of riding, enjoying it, you're actually riding it with fear because you know there's too much talk and you're not gonna enjoy. It. So I don't see there's a point. Yeah. So the other thing we we have is also the uh, I believe you can see the uh, LED markers that we have, the LED scooters, the LED decks, you know, for the Duotrons. Okay. So we do this as well. Okay. So you guys can actually get your hands on. Okay. Uh, through the website as well. Okay, all these are for the Duotrons, the mangas with the LEDs, the decks with the LEDs, customs, these are all customs. So, uh, um, can, can you pass me the deck? The, the Duotron deck, you can show them. Yeah, so so these are the um, the designs that we can do. Um, do you want to have a copy? Oh yeah. So, familiar with this guy? <laughs> so this is actually UV printed, okay, they won't scratch, okay, the, the, the pictures won't come off, alright, the pictures won't come off, alright, so, okay, yeah, sure, we can go unwrap it, yeah, but, uh, you know what, I think it's okay, yeah, they can, they can, they can, they can see, oh, wow, that's fast, okay, so, So this is a Hellboy design, okay, custom, my personal favorite, all right. So it doesn't scratch off. So when you stand on it, all right, you, you can probably have uh, debris from your shoes and stuff. Step on it, you know, it, it will not, it, the, the pictures will not go away. All right, this is um, the back, all right. So it's all covered, it's nice, all nice and good. All these are limited, one of one, one of one. 
okay so you will only have it see it here on custom EV this is the only the probably the only one in San Diego yeah the only one in, only San Diego. One in the whole United States so you can say that you can say that okay with um, our logos on it okay this is the only one this is um, available for sale all right so is this one okay very very limited piece no it's not even limited it's one of one one on one okay so all this only one piece okay this is for the ultra okay so if you guys want it okay you can actually uh contact jay all right or come to custom evs to check it out okay this is for sale for the fastest fingers first all right this thing won't happen the second time this is the only one here all right and we bring it over this will be the only one all right and uh what what is this what is the most efficient connectors for what efficient connectors for the tire change a lot of people have that question what is the most efficient the most efficient connectors for tire change i don't understand Justin, what are you referring yeah. to? Which which connector? Yeah, which which the, the, the controllers or you mean we have to unplug it for a tire change because because it has dual phase. Ah, right, right. So what we're using is um, the 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 bullet point. So from there you can you can get them from uh, like a EC five. You know we're not using EC eight, uh, EC five. The legit ones, all right. There is always a uh, mid shift, you know, or knockoff EC8 or EC5, even XT90s as well, you know. So he talking about face and hall. Ah, face and hall, right? So, okay, the face, like I say, we are using a the uh, EC9, uh, EC5, okay, the gold bullets, okay. So all these are plug and play, so they're easy for tire change and stuff. Uh, even so, uh, you won't hinder much. Of uh, your your this uh, tire change and stuff, it's pretty much plug and play. Yeah. So like I mentioned earlier, all right, don't get those uh, knockoff uh, EC5 or XT90s because they will fail if anything more than say 60 amps or 70 amps. Yeah. Once it heats up, the the, the contents will start to deteriorate. Not the first time, probably a couple of runs later when it starts to heat up, right? Then your performance will drop because of the connectors all right so you gotta use some legit ones you know don't don't use some knockoff connectors you know there is a lot of knockoff <laughs> yeah. using all right they use uh less brass and use other materials yes when it's too cheap or when it's too good of a deal high chances it's not a good deal <laughs> yeah so because mm. all these are picking up you see e-scooters they are picking up so people will want to actually try to rip you off you know, just like uh, this afternoon, we are looking at uh, connectors. ST90 um, connector. Yeah, yeah, we are looking at ST90 connectors. We are looking around, shopping around. Jay is bringing me around, you know, checking out the neighborhood. So, um, yeah, I saw one of the connectors selling for, was it $11? $11.99. Just one pair, just, just one. Just one unit as $11. And I can imagine, for one scooter, you got to build how much you need, you know. For, for for those yeah this is pretty bad pretty bad justin yeah any more questions on facebook or instagram no all right so um like um <clears throat> like i say so all this are just the initial phase of um how we're gonna build things all right so you guys can always upgrade the suspension okay the front shocks okay the packs and stuff all this no worries but the things that you don't need to worry about is the front and rear models the controllers all right even the casings all right there's a there's a casing behind actually uh, this this casing itself all right so um it's it's all customized it's not just buy off the shelf you see so don't have to worry custom make this to fit Alright, so you wouldn't bang out on your frames and stuff. You don't have to cut off anything. You just need to measure whatever battery size that you need. Even the battery makers would know. So you just need to tell them the measurements. They will just uh, custom the battery cells accordingly. Now, these are all tested. Okay, it's, it's not something that we just 
prototype. This is not a prototype, okay? It's already out in production. We'll run it, test it, race with it, no issue at all. Uh, so, you know, you can always change other stuff. Upgrade the brakes to MT5, MT7, or race line, up to you. Handlebars, no problem. If you want to change other throttles, no issue with that. I think uh, you do this as well. You, you Correct, do we, we do most stuff. of these upgrades here. Yeah. I'll say uh, we do 90% of most all upgrades. Some upgrades we don't feel comfortable doing. That, that's that 10%. But mm -hmm. that 90%, we do a lot of upgrades. Yeah. I think uh, you do. You do like servicing with all. Yeah, we things? service. We service every uh, pretty travel much. Shooting we, well? we troubleshoot. We service uh, pretty much any e-bike, any scooter, any anything that has battery and controller and motor. <laughs> let's say. Yeah, it's 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 not just about like I say. Uh, I I came all the way uh, to custom EVs, right? And there are other brands of scooters as well. Uh, like like what are they? What? There is Super Seventy Three. Uh -huh. There is. Uh, Mini motors and what else is out there? A few mm -hmm. other ones. The, the um, early on was you know, the, 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 there's a lot of other scooters. I think you're, you're yes, doing yes, a lot of yes, other yes, a lot of scooters. Yeah. yeah, Justin, uh, Justin, learn a lot tonight. Thank you guys. Hey, Justin, we learn from each other, right? So I believe there's things that you probably experienced that I haven't. You know, so because our terrain is different from where I come from, um, from Singapore, my my road is smoother, you know, I don't have so much uphills, downhills and stuff. So uh, I'm more fortunate to actually test out high speed trails and stuff, you know, but over here the terrain is different, the riding style, the, 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 the scenery, wow, I must say, so good. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so good, you know, I, I miss riding, you know, I came over here, I was riding the Duotron with, with Jay, all right. Around uh, around the neighborhood, wow! I miss the feeling. It was so good. You know, it brings me back to 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 in in, in uh, twenty nineteen. You know, so good. You know, so of course we we, we, we learn from here. You know, I got to experience more. I personally come all the way down here as to see, you know, what kind of uh, uh, there's a history or what kind of what's that, what's that word called? What kind of culture that you guys are actually having? And I'm quite surprised. I'm seeing you know people riding up and down. You know, in an orderly fashion, you know, not like recklessly and stuff. Do you ride recklessly? Well, at I least don't. he rides with the helmet. I don't ride too reckless. <laughs> at least he rides with the helmet. So, you know, that's a good thing, you know. So, yeah, um, I think that's, that's, that's all we, we, we have. Just keep a lookout, okay, for uh, Cosmods and um, custom EVs. You know. Also, don't miss out the Black Friday deals that we got going on. Oh yeah, you can't miss that. Uh -huh. um, there is some Cosmod products actually going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, we missed the giveaway. Yeah, I was about to go there. We 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 are actually doing a giveaway. Um, it's actually the uh, the Mark Guts. Um, hang on, I'm gonna show you guys about the Mark Guts. Well, while he's doing that, are you able to explain uh, we have a question? about anything in regards to the batteries? Uh -huh. Like, what's, what, what, what's, what's, the, the, what's the question? Yeah. Well, uh, this gentleman just wants to know uh, to be acknowledged as far as the battery. Uh, what was the exact question? So, I noticed that you have four individuals in the Cosmos picture, but where is the acknowledgement of the battery builder? The battery builder? Four individuals. Can we, can we, can we? Can, 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 you, can you read who, yeah. who's... Can, can we take this a look? Can, can, yeah, can we? Can you, we we can use you, it. You can scroll down. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> Bow jungles? Yeah, that's... Yeah. Um, um, that's uh the guys from the battery builder's friend pretty oh, much. So that's okay, why okay. he says that. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Um, I don't know. How should we answer this question? Um I wouldn't know how to answer it, but the the battery builder does um he does build it with copper. Mm -hmm. I can say that. Um I guess he's one of the trusted guys in San Jose. Mm-hmm. Who builds batteries? Can't say too much about it. I can't say bad things about him either. So mm -hmm. he does build our, the batteries for the Cosmods. 
Well, okay, the reason why uh, I think Jay will be more qualified to answer this question is because um, the scooters are built or hand built, you know, but um, the battery itself, we have to build it somewhere else because um, regulations, you know, safety regulations. So we can't have too many things, too many entities together, you know. Um, we will have an in house builder, okay, which I think uh, more. So we can get some uh, people up in here. So a message. Yes. Mm -hmm. You got a message? No. Can you talk about again what you have to do in order to get the the mount guard? What you need to do? Oh, so the, 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 the mug guard? Was a giveaway. Yeah, so basically... So the mug guard, yeah. so we live on YouTube, so we can repeat this. Oh, oh, great. So, YouTube, we are up again? Yes, we are. <clears throat> okay, so, it was a technical fault. <laughs> now we're back. Okay, so, we're talking about giveaways, okay? So, how are we going to do the, the giveaway? Basically, this mug guard itself, okay, it works the same as the uh, Dualtrons that we're having right now. Okay, basically, they tap the powers from the controllers itself, so there's no external source needed. Okay, it's just direct plug and play. All right, so um, all this, how are you gonna get it now? It's a free giveaway. Only five pieces. We're gonna give it free. All right. So how are you gonna get it? So basically, all right. For Instagram yeah. and YouTube, or how do we do both? Because Instagram, mm -hmm. they could message me, and mm -hmm. when it comes to YouTube, they can't send me a message. Ah. They only can write a comment. Mm. So how we go about that? Okay, so, um, hmm, that's tricky. All right, so, 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 let me work on that for a while. Wow, that's tricky. So, if YouTube, if, if you can't, at least just leave a comment. All right, leave a comment and uh, give me a thumbs up. From there, we'll pick you up because there's a lot of people coming in. So, we're, we're, we're not sure who's gonna, who's gonna get it. Okay, but for those on Facebook, for those on How about uh, this, take an email, custom EV email. So they can e do the email, so that's like an inbox. They can send me an email, and that, we could do a random selection. If that How about works, that? If that works, if that works, they can send they can send an email to sales mm -hmm. at custom ev dot com. The first emails I receive, they'll be the first ones to receive one of these. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or maybe they got numbers or what? They can. <laughs> well, we gotta we gotta, we gotta do it some way. Uh, uh -huh. How do you want to do it? You want they have to do something or oh. tell us something about themselves? Or yeah, yeah. So basically, like well, you can just have um, you your scooter. Okay, you can you can have a picture of both of you in the scooter. Okay, just tell us where you're from, what kind of scooters you're riding. You know, with the picture of it. You know, it's it's good. It's good. You know, you you can uh, you can just win this just like that. Simple. You see, simple. From there on, no worries about it. Okay, and um, while well, we have um, other stuff coming out, we're still deciding which one to give. You see, so do keep a lookout. Okay, we got more items coming out for the Black Friday sales, right? Yes. Yeah, the Black Friday sales come down. We have a lot of items. You can actually check out on the websites. Um, there's a lot of uh, deals going on out there. So all the details will be on the Facebook page. Was it on the Facebook page? Instagram? Instagram, Facebook. Uh -huh. That's good. Also, also on right on the website. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. So at least you can get all the details from there. Yeah? Okay, before we go in, um, uh -huh. we, 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 a customer performance team also like to launch um, our um, another partner in East Coast. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, um, would you like to also? Um, oh, so uh, Minimoto NYC. Okay, they are carrying the Duotrons, and uh, if people from New York itself, uh, if you're thinking of getting uh, this this video units, okay, you can actually just uh drop by, let them know, you know, that you guys are actually interested in the Nova, or any other Duotrons and stuff, the products. Yeah, you can always uh hit up to uh, Minimoto NYC, 
That's a nine Madison Street. Yes, yes. Okay. So we can actually go there and, and uh, check them out and see how. But if you are further down, okay, I think there's the only spot that you can come in whereby you can speak to Jay personally itself, or you can actually speak to us if um, you know if we, if uh, you manage to catch us, you know. So uh, you'll be good to see you guys come down here to actually you know meet with us and uh, probably you can learn more about each other on the culture difference, on the scooting world, the scooting scene as well. Yeah, you, yeah. you can join us on Black Friday and you can meet the whole crew. Oh yeah, 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 that's good, that's good. I would love to see you guys. <laughs> I would love to see you guys and, and uh, know more of uh, what kind of questions or what kind of problems that you guys are facing. Hopefully that I can uh, uh, you know, solve the issues as well. Resolve. Yeah, oh, resolve, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I believe I met one of your one of your uh, good friends. Yes. Yeah. On, 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 on my first day here, met one of them. Uh, he was riding the legendary scooters, the, 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 the one that we the one that was before the Nova, and uh, he was quite happy about it. Yes. Yeah. Well, they say that that was the prototype. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so again, one of one. That is that one and only piece, and uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty dope, right? It, yeah. He's pretty happy with it. <laughs> Pretty high, pretty high. Very happy about it, and um, well, he's actually thinking about getting this unit. So, you know, um, let's let's see because limited units available right now uh, until we have uh, more productions coming in with uh, more upgraded parts as well. So again, if you want to find out what kind of upgrading parts we have or what are we gonna do with it, you know, um, we can't share too much over here because uh, limited time that we got over here uh, you can always check out with J or custom EVs you know or what kind of updates that we have what kind of is going on best is to follow their Instagram or their Facebook from there you will get updates on uh, Cosmos products you know on, on how we're gonna move around from here what kind of directions we're moving what kind of products that we're coming up as well so you guys can actually you know keep yourself updated from there all I can say is 2020 no, 2022. 2022 is going to be an exciting year for uh, the Fido's and stuff. The whole EV game, yes, they say. Yes, yes, EV, that's what I call them, the whole EV games. Okay, and uh, to me, I would say it's a game changer. You see, because we never stopped developing. You see, so until today, we are still coming up with new ideas, how to go even faster using the most efficient way because it's easy to go fast but is it sustainable you see that is the whole question easy to go fast but what's the point if it's not sustainable so we want to have these two in between uh, to come up with the best of both world it can be fast sustainable as well so keep keep yourself updated from um, this page and then uh, if there's any questions you can always pm dm um, j from there on, I believe uh, he will answer all the questions that you guys have. Yeah? So, Santito1924 on IG asked, uh -huh. Are you going to be doing custom lights for the Fido also? Well, well, I was I was hoping that no one asked me that, but yes, plans are underway. You see, because um, for the Duotrons, it took us a while to actually finalize uh, a concept, you know, that is um, something that is as good looking as this, you see. So then again, of course, uh, Fido is going to be walking the same path, okay. We're going to have more designs, uh, fancy designs up and running, okay. I believe you guys love loud scooters, you know, like this, you know. But of course, for um, the Fidos that we have, the Novas right now, we are all focusing on a few factors. Reliability, speed, and of course, how it performs. It has to be agile enough to move around and, and not too bulky, things hanging around and stuff, you know, that things are gonna hinder your experience while riding the Nova itself. So, we wanna eliminate all this, okay? So, comfort, speed, okay, and the whole overall performance is what we are focusing on. You see, we, we, we can't have too many things. Aesthetic-wise, is is another thing. So we're gonna come up with aesthetics. 
you know, uh, further down the road. But right now, we are just introducing the Fido itself. It's out. Okay, it has a prototype before, but now it's out, up for grabs. And uh, I would say, not many pieces available. It's just a few limited pieces because we we are uh, kind of uh, we want this thing to be exclusive and not just like any other scooters. You know, we want to make this exclusive, and only those who are worthy they will actually carry a brand like this and move around. You know, because it's unique, it's special, and it has only these few pieces available. All right, in the chameleon colors or color shifting, you call it color shifting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, to answer that question, yes, we are going to come up with uh, more upgrades as in terms of uh, aesthetic-wise. You know, as of now, this is how we want it to be and uh, we are focusing, we are putting the, uh, the focus, the attention on those items that gives you this good riding experience. Yeah, because no point looking good, but you, are the, you, are the, you are the last in the group. <laughs> you know, then looking good is it's no longer important. <laughs> you know, you gotta be in the first in the group or in between. You know, power on tech. You see, you have the power just on tech. This is the the thing that we 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 are focusing on. Because no point looking good, but you are in the last of the pack. Then, you know, it defeats the purpose. You know, you gotta be the fast ones so people will notice you, and then they will start looking at your stuff. That's where. A lot of things that you guys install but actually shines out. That's where you'll get noticed. People will start noticing you. I don't know, probably pick up chicks from there. <laughs> yeah, maybe, it, maybe. It is yeah. a sleeper though. Most people don't expect it to go this fast. Yes, yes. Uh, we were quite we were quite satisfied with our products uh, so far. So of course we will never stop here, you know. Improvements will never stop. But it's just how much you guys appreciate this product. So that this, when the second phase comes in, you know you guys will be missed out uh, of the of the good stuff that we're gonna put in. Yeah. All right. Any more questions? <coughs> no. Think we're good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like we're gonna end the live. We we'll probably go on live sometime this week again. Okay. Alright, bye everybody. Bye.